Uh, I call the Honourable Member Julianne Genta. Thank you, Mr. Tenakwe. Speaker. Tenakwe. I rise to speak on the third and last reading of the Insurance Prudential Supervision Amendment Bill. The Green Party has not supported uh, these changes, and we will not be supporting this amendment bill, so I'll just take a few minutes to explain why. The bill makes nine technical changes to the principal legislation, which was the Insurance Prudential Supervision Act of 2010. Now, that act established a licensing and prudential supervision regime for insurers operating in New Zealand, and the Green Party wholeheartedly supported that act. Now, the technical changes proposed in this bill, uh, some of which I can completely understand the reasons for them. Uh, others, we had questions that were not adequately answered during the select committee process. And so we decided, although we can understand um, that there is some need uh, to ensure that during the transition period there's a smooth transition from provisional licenses and there was a need for this particular amendment bill um, in order to extend the provisional licensing period. Um, we thought it was important to um, object to the changes on principle because in the wake of the global financial crisis, and with um, the increasing severity and frequency of extreme weather events, um, it is quite clear that all financial services, but particularly insurance, actually need to be moving in the direction of greater regulation and government oversight rather than less. And while we hear a lot of rhetoric from this government uh, about cutting red tape and making things easier uh, for businesses, the fact is that we're not talking about New Zealand businesses. A lot of the particular changes in, in this bill, one of which is um, allowing overseas insurers to use accounting rules that apply in their home country for interim financial reporting, rather than adhering to New Zealand accounting practices um, aren't benefiting New Zealand business and they aren't benefiting the New Zealand economy particularly either. We've seen um, a rationalization of insurance providers in New Zealand to a few big overseas owned uh, players and ultimately the Green Party is very concerned about the risk that this poses to New Zealand. Now, I understand that uh, with the increased um, severe weather events around the world and problems like earthquakes here in New Zealand, uh, the insurance industry has been under some strain and we lost one of our own, New Z our larger uh, New Zealand owned insurers, AMI, because there, it wasn't in as good of financial health as it should have been. And the problem is that if we don't have strict regulatory oversight, um, then there is an incentive for organizations to cut corners and to, um, to, to cook the books a little bit um, in order to uh, compete with other larger organizations who also don't have to comply with a strict reg regulatory regime. So, um, in other words, if the government is not there to set the rules of the game and to enforce those rules and make sure that organizations are doing what they are supposed to be doing, then there is necessarily a race to the bottom because competitive pressures will result in organizations cutting corners and uh, stretching the truth. And we see that we've seen so much of that in the past few years. Not not just in insurance industry, but you know, in in the in the financial sector, um, uh, there were how many dozens? I think it was something like 70 uh, finance companies went under. So this is not a case for less regulation. What this has demonstrated to us is that these sorts of sectors, financial services sectors, actually need more strict government oversight. Um, and it, it, I don't understand how these particular changes are going to facilitate and make it easier for uh, New Zealand companies to start up and provide insurance here in New Zealand and provide greater choice to people in the market. And um, in the past few years, even with the large number of payouts and of, um, of disastrous events that insurance companies have had to pay for, we've actually seen record profits. Insurance companies have been making record profits. So um, it's, it's, well, yeah. Uh, if, the question is, um, why, why should we be reducing 
compliance costs, which are actually a necessary part of regulatory oversight at a time when it's actually New Zealand households and businesses that are going to be vulnerable um, if the government doesn't do its job of being the watchdog in this sector. So the Green Party won't be supporting the changes because we believe that there is an important role to, for government to play in ensuring that the economy runs an efficient way and the best way it can do that is actually by greater regulatory oversight of financial services and particularly the insurance industry as that is an industry that has been dominated by a few big overseas players and is essentially too big to fail. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Ms. Jinta. I call the Honourable David Cunliffe. Thank you, Mr.